Can we hear a little commotion for the hair? Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Conversations with Candace. I'm Candace, and we're going to be conversing today. It's been so long since I've been on here, but I'm getting ready to do a quick weave, and I'm trying some new hair today. So the hair that I have is from Free Tress. It's called French Curl, and it comes in five pieces. I'm not going to use the fifth piece, which is going to be like a little closure, but I'll show you what the pack looks like. Here she is. And I'll take it out so you can see it. It says that one pack is just enough. So naturally I bought two packs because I don't trust you. So here's the first piece that comes out. It's 12 inches and this is the closure in the front. If I was going to put all my hair away, I would use the closure in the front. I've never done a closure. I'm not that girl. But I put it to the side just in case I might need it in the back. So the pieces come in 12, 14, 16, 18. I'm going to use the two 18s from you know both packs in the bag and then go 16 16 and then 14 and then probably use 12 just up here on the top to keep my quick weave super quick i'm not even going to braid the back of my hair my hair is straightened and i've already part parts not great doesn't even matter i'm going to put this in a ponytail in the back the next thing I'm gonna do is spray the back of my hair with a little bit of got to be glue and then i'm going to put the cap on a bunch of half empty protective shield bottles. They're small. I don't know where the bigger one is, but we're gonna use what we have. I have two little black ones that have a little bit in it. And then I have a clear one. I don't love the clear, but we're just gonna go ahead and use this. You can use a, a brush to put this on. I like using my hands because I can feel exactly where it's going when I put it on. So I just do just like this in my hands or on my head. Here's what it looks like. And this is what's gonna keep the glue off of your real hair and just smooth it on very gently. So in a completely unnecessary turn of events, I put the second cap on over that first cap. And now I'm getting ready to go sit under my dryer for 20 minutes. You can use a blow dryer for this, but my arms are already tired. So I'm gonna go sit under my dryer on warm air for 20 minutes. I'm back from sitting under the dryer for 20 minutes. My hair is completely dry. I'm starting with the 18 inch piece. Here's what the hair looks like. I'm gonna measure out a piece for the very back of my hair and I'm gonna go in a U shape. Hair like this, um, the packs were $9.99 each and they were buy one get one free so I do not expect them to be super thick but I'm going to layer them in the back so the layering is gonna be great and it's gonna look thick even though this hair is not that thick. Glue right here, it's old so it might have a tough time coming out and I just do a little bit of glue all the way down this weft. Put it up and hold it just like this. My goal is to not get any glue in my hair, but if I do, I know that when I take my hair down, I'm going to be using some oils and that glue is going to slide right out. Most of that glue should go on the cap, so there should be no glue in your hair when you're done. All right. Even without fluffing this hair, I was able to get a good amount of body in the back. I've only used two and a half bundles. I used both 18 inch and a little bit of the 16 inch. Let me show you what it looks like in the back. And then also I went in a U shape all the way up to the top and then I cut very small pieces to put at the very top. Here's the back, which looks very good. I'm not good at braiding, so this plait is not gonna be great. It's just gonna get the job done, and that's okay. Time to wrap. This is all I have left, so I'm gonna have to make it work. I usually try to just do like four pieces at a time and wrap it around my ponytail. I start at the base and work my way back up. time to wrap I cut this in kind of short sections so I don't have so much to work with I just put a little bit of glue on the end I don't put glue on the entire weft just enough to make it stick I wrap it a few times and put a little bit more glue I start at the very top or the end hold it so it dries and then I just start wrapping 
wrapping around kind of going down to my scalp. This takes a little bit of time, but it's definitely worth it if you do it close together so you can have a full ponytail. Go around and around until the weft runs out. After about three wraps is when I put more glue on. I take a chunk of hair from like the back of the ponytail, maybe like this much. I don't need a whole bunch to wrap, but I'm gonna comb it out first and then I'm gonna start wrapping and I'm gonna use my got to be glue spray and a cool blow dryer to dry it in place. So I'm getting ready to go to bed. I'm gonna wrap up my edges. One pack is absolutely enough for this style. I'm not sure how it would have worked if I did like a full head, but this hair is super cute. It's super fluffy. I love that it has a little bit of body without being too bulky. I'm gonna give y'all like a final look when I have a little face on in the morning. I'm just gonna let you know, I was very surprised. I was very surprised that one pack worked out for this hair. It is super cute. It's very lightweight. It's super fluffy, but it gives me enough volume that like I feel, I feel cute, I feel fun, I feel flirty. My head doesn't look as big with a hair pulled back like this because the back of it gives me volume. It's very lightweight and I still have a full pack left. What I will say about this hair, when you're wrapping it in your ponytail, put a little bit extra at the very base so you can use some of the ends to wrap and still have it full up here. I wish the top was a little bit fuller, but that was like user error and nothing wrong with the hair. Ultimately, I do not think that I'm gonna brush this out or fluff it anymore. I like the way it is. I will say after sleeping on it for one night, it kind of does curl um, around itself. So this morning I just pulled it apart. I have not used any curl mousse, but at a later time I probably will end up putting a little bit of curl mousse in it and pulling the pieces apart. But for $10, this is, this is giving. Let me know if you've tried this hair. I will put the details in the description box. And until next time, y'all have a good day.